Welcome to the third tutorial of construction estimation. In previous tutorial of drywall, we have learned about the drywall marking. In this tutorial, we will learn in detail the assembly of drywall and how to find more information from the details. First of all, we will move on the cover page to find the list of drawings we will see in the architectural drawings on drawing number a3.11 you can see partition type and partition details we will open this drawing number on this drawing details of every wall type is given like in type A1, it gives details about wall framing. One R rated partition means that how much it protects from fire per hour the building. Same as given other wall types like A1, A2, A3, A4 etc and it has all complete details that we have calculated in the above plans same like here are c type walls like c1 it has cmu partition cmu are concrete masonry units these are made up of concrete blocks these are of different sizes like 4 inches, 8 inches, 6 inches, etc. You can see here C3 and C4 thickness is same but it has height difference. Here you can see that type C4 starts from the finish floor and goes up to the ceiling so it has separate name. Same like others, you can see type D1, it is characterized as fire rated shaft wall. A shaft wall is used to any building has some openings to move or crossing of piping and utility items to move vertically. The walls used for this purpose are called shaft walls. So what information we need from here, we will discuss it. Here you can see in that wall, it has gypsum board layers or panels that are denoted by Keynote 9.10. These keynotes are given here. You can see here are the keynotes for every wall type. Here you can see that 9.10 and 9.3 looks like same but there may be a difference of thickness that's why it has been given the different name. You can see that nine point ten and nine point three are the same. When we check the nine point six, this is the insulation. When we see on that note, it is metal stud framing, metal studs are the drywall framing and we use gypsum boards panels on this to stable the wall 
so you can see in that point it describes that you will use at 16 inches distance of this thickness metal studs to stable the wall type a1 next key node is 7.18 when we see on that key node it has bad insulation the purpose of insulation in drywall is to make it soundproof from the other room or other area so you can say that insulation of this thickness in type a1 one thing to remember is that about the thickness of insulation it will always be equal or less the thickness of metal studs its size will never go up the size of the metal studs otherwise noted next is the node 7.19 at 7.19 it is caustical cement install a caustical cement at top and bottom of wall and add penetrations Caustical cement is used to cover the wall openings joints from up to bottom. At point seven point one nine is the caustical cement. We will use caustical cement where the walls are non fibrated. You can see as described at 7.19. So we have covered all the interior walls given here and described on the plans. Next are the exterior walls. As we have seen that in the drawing there was no tag mentioned about exterior walls so we will see it its details from the section details given in the drawing when we check this section here on the other drawing wall section here are the exterior wall details. All the details about exterior wall is given here. All the exterior wall finish will not be included in dry wall. So you can see here the detail about the interior wall and exterior wall is given there are key notes mentioned about the exterior so you can see we have covered the interior wall like panels framing insulation and details about the exterior wall so we will highlight all the key notes related to the exterior wall to find information and details about it here you can see in the key notes there are notes given about the insulation and thickness about exterior wall and other information like gypsum exterior, sheeting board, gypsum board painted, etc. So we will mark exterior wall and take their details and we will put all the details in excel sheet. We have measured lengths already previously. We will take heights from building section. 
when we check the details we will see building sections from the list of drawings and then check on it from the given drawing number add drawing number a 5.01 here are the details about the building section here you can see the height from level 1 to level 2 and level 2 to the roof so we will take the height measurements from here and now we have completed drywall portion thank you